quantum computing is a fascinating field that has the potential to revolutionize the way we process information. Unlike classical computers, which rely on bits that can only be in one of two states, zero or one, quantum computers use qubits that can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This allows quantum computers to perform certain calculations much faster than classical computers, making them ideal for solving complex problems in fields such as cryptography, chemistry, and finance. Quantum computing is a field of study that explores the use of quantum mechanical phenomena to perform certain types of computations. Unlike classical computers, which use bits that can only be in one of two states, zero or one, quantum computers use qubits that can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This allows quantum computers to perform certain calculations much faster than classical computers, making them ideal for solving complex problems in fields such as cryptography, chemistry, and finance. There are five key elements of a quantum computer. Qubits, superposition, entanglement, interference, and measurement. Qubits are the basic building blocks of quantum computers and can exist in multiple states simultaneously. Superposition is the ability of a qubit to exist in multiple states at once. Entanglement is a phenomenon where two or more qubits become correlated in such a way that the state of one qubit depends on the state of the other qubit. Interference is the ability of a quantum computer to manipulate the probability amplitudes of qubits to produce constructive or destructive interference. Finally, measurement is the process by which a quantum computer extracts information from a qubit. Superposition is a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics that allows qubits to exist in multiple states simultaneously. In other words, a qubit can be in a state of zero and one at the same time. This is different from classical bits, which can only be in one state at a time. Superposition is what makes quantum computing so powerful, as it allows quantum computers to perform certain calculations much faster than classical computers. To understand superposition more deeply, it's helpful to know that qubits can exist in any number of states between 0 and 1. This means that a qubit can be in an infinite number of states simultaneously. When a qubit is measured, it collapses into one of these states, but until then, it exists in all of them at once. Superposition is one of the five key elements of a quantum computer. The other four are qubits, entanglement, interference, and measurement. If you're interested in learning more about these elements and how they work together to make quantum computing possible, I recommend checking out this. Quantum interference is a fundamental property of computation in quantum computing. It refers to the phenomenon where two or more quantum states overlap and interfere with each other, resulting in either constructive or destructive interference one. There are two kinds of quantum interference, constructive interference and destructive interference. Two in phase waves, which is to say they peak at the same time, constructively interfere, and the resulting wave peaks twice as high. Two waves that are out of phase, on the other hand, peak at opposite times and destructively interfere. The resulting wave is completely flat. All other phase differences will have results somewhere in between, with either a higher peak for constructive interference or a lower peak for destructive interference 1. Interference is used to affect probability amplitudes in quantum computing. In other words, every possible outcome has some probability of occurring. When using only one qubit for computation, the possible outcomes are only 0 and 1. When using two qubits, the number of possible outcomes doubles. These possible outcomes are 0, 0, 0, 1, 10, and 11. And when using three qubits, the number of possible outcomes doubles again to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 10, 0, 11, 100, 101, 110, and 111. This exponential growth is one of the factors contributing to the ability of quantum computers to perform certain computations that are believed to be impossible for even the world's most powerful supercomputers. Quantum entanglement is a fundamental concept in quantum mechanics that allows two or more particles to become correlated in such a way that the state of one particle depends on the state of the other particle, even when they are separated by vast distances one. This phenomenon is often referred to as spooky action at a distance and has been the subject of much research and debate in the field of quantum mechanics. Entanglement is one of the five key elements of a quantum computer, along with qubits, superposition, interference, and measurement. When two qubits become entangled, they remain connected even when separated by vast distances. 
This allows quantum computers to perform certain calculations much faster than classical computers, making them ideal for solving complex problems in fields such as cryptography, chemistry, and finance. To understand entanglement more deeply, it's helpful to know that when two particles become entangled, their states become linked in such a way that the state of one particle depends on the state of the other particle. This means that if you measure the state of one particle, you can instantly determine the state of the other particle, no matter how far apart they are one. This is what makes entanglement so fascinating and useful for quantum computing. In quantum mechanics, measurement is the process by which a quantum computer extracts information from a qubit. A fundamental feature of quantum theory is that the predictions it makes are probabilistic. The procedure for finding a probability involves combining a quantum state, which mathematically describes a quantum system, with a mathematical representation of the measurement to be performed on a system. The formula for this calculation is known as the Born Rule 1. When measuring a qubit, the quantum state that describes that qubit changes. This is a central feature of quantum mechanics, one that is both mathematically intricate and conceptually subtle one. The mathematical tools for making predictions about what measurement outcomes may occur, and how quantum states can change, were developed during the 20th century and make use of linear algebra and functional analysis. Quantum computing and classical computing are two fundamentally different approaches to processing information. Here are some key differences between the two. Basic building blow X. Classical computers use bits that can only be in one of two states, 0 or 1, while quantum computers use qubits that can exist in multiple states simultaneously. Processing power. Quantum computers can perform certain calculations much faster than classical computers, making them ideal for solving complex problems in fields such as cryptography, chemistry, and finance. Exponential growth. The power of a quantum computer grows exponentially in relation to the number of qubits linked together, while the power of a classical computer increases linearly with the number of transistors. Measurement. In quantum mechanics, measurement is the process by which a quantum computer extracts information from a qubit. When measuring a qubit, the quantum state that describes that qubit changes. This is a central feature of quantum mechanics, one that is both mathematically intricate and conceptually subtle. Interference. Quantum interference is a fundamental property of computation in quantum computing. It refers to the phenomenon where two or more quantum states overlap and interfere with each other, resulting in either constructive or destructive interference. Quantum computing is a rapidly emerging technology that harnesses the laws of quantum mechanics to solve problems too complex for classical computers. Unlike classical computers, which use bits that can only be in one of two states, 0 or 1, quantum computers use qubits that can exist in multiple states simultaneously. This allows quantum computers to perform certain calculations much faster than classical computers. The processing power of a quantum computer grows exponentially in relation to the number of qubits linked together, while the power of a classical computer increases linearly with the number of transistors. There are five key elements of a quantum computer qubits, superposition, entanglement, interference, and measurement. Qubits are the basic building blocks of quantum computers and can exist in multiple states simultaneously. Superposition is the ability of a qubit to exist in multiple states at once. Entanglement is a phenomenon where two or more qubits become correlated in such a way that the state of one qubit depends on the state of the other qubit. Interference is the ability of a quantum computer to manipulate the probability amplitudes of qubits to produce constructive or destructive interference. Finally, measurement is the process by which a quantum computer extracts information from a qubit. Quantum computers are created using a variety of materials and techniques. The basic building block of a quantum computer is the qubit, which can exist in multiple states simultaneously. There are several ways to create qubits, including using superconducting circuits, trapped ions, and nitrogen vacancy centers in Diamond 1. Once qubits are created, they can be manipulated using light or magnetic fields to create superposition, entanglement, and other properties too. A complete quantum computing system could be as large as a two-car garage when one factors in all the paraphernalia required for smooth operation. But the entire processing unit, made of qubits, would barely cover the tip of your finger one. Scientists are still working to master the basic computing element known as a qubit to make quantum computers more powerful than electronic machines. Quantum computers are made up of several components, including qubits, which are the basic building blocks of quantum computers. 
qubits can exist in multiple states simultaneously, allowing quantum computers to perform certain calculations much faster than classical computers. There are several ways to create qubits, including using superconducting circuits, trapped ions, and nitrogen vacancy centers in Diamond 1. Once qubits are created, they can be manipulated using light or magnetic fields to create spur position, entanglement, and other properties too. In addition to qubits, there are several other components that make up a quantum computer. These include the following. Quantum gates. These are the equivalent of classical logic gates and are used to manipulate qubits. Quantum registers. These are used to store qubits and perform operations on them. Quantum processors. These are the main processing units of a quantum computer and are responsible for performing calculations. Classical processors. These are used to control the quantum processors and perform classical computations. Quantum memory. This is used to store quantum information for later use. Qubits are the basic building blocks of quantum computers and can exist in multiple states simultaneously. There are several ways to create qubits, including using superconducting circuits, trapped ions, and nitrogen vacancy centers in Diamond 1. Once qubits are created, they can be manipulated using light or magnetic fields to create spur position, entanglement, and other properties too. The process of manipulating qubits is complex and varies depending on the type of qubit being used. In general, qubits are manipulated using a series of quantum gates that perform specific operations on the qubit. These gates can be used to create spur position, entanglement, and other properties that are essential for quantum computing 3. For example, to create spur position in a qubit, a Hadamard gate is typically used. This gate takes a qubit that is in the state 0 and puts it into a spur position of 0 and 1. To create entanglement between two qubits, a CNOT gate is typically used. This gate takes two qubits and entangles them so that their states become correlated with each other. Quantum computing is a rapidly emerging technology that harnesses the laws of quantum mechanics to solve problems too complex for classical computers. The basic building block of a quantum computer is the qubit, which can exist in multiple states simultaneously. There are several ways to create qubits, including using superconducting circuits, trapped ions, and nitrogen vacancy centers in Diamond 1. Once qubits are created, they can be manipulated using light or magnetic fields to create spur position, entanglement, and other properties too. The process of creating a quantum computer is complex and varies depending on the type of qubit being used. In general, qubits are created using a variety of materials and techniques. Once qubits are created, they can be manipulated using a series of quantum gates that perform specific operations on the qubit. These gates can be used to create spur position, entanglement, and other properties that are essential for quantum computing. Quantum computing is a rapidly emerging technology that harnesses the laws of quantum mechanics to solve problems too complex for classical computers. The potential applications of quantum computing are vast and varied, ranging from cryptography and cybersecurity to drug discovery and finance. Here are some of the most promising applications of quantum computing. Cryptography. Quantum computers have the potential to break many of the encryption methods used to secure data today, making them ideal for cryptography and cybersecurity. Drug discovery. Quantum computers can simulate the behavior of molecules at the quantum level, making them ideal for drug discovery and development. Finance. Quantum computers can be used to optimize financial portfolios, simulate market behavior, and detect fraud. Artificial intelligence. Quantum computers can be used to train machine learning algorithms and improve natural language processing, weather forecasting. Quantum computers can be used to simulate weather patterns and improve forecasting accuracy. These are just a few examples of the many potential applications of quantum computing. As the technology continues to develop, we can expect to see even more exciting applications emerge. That was all, goodbye.